Hi everybody, it's Doreen and I'm back today with the last birthday card for 2014. This is another quick, simple and easy card and it's actually a masculine card. Well, you don't have to make it a masculine card but that's what mine is going to be. This is another Jamie Lane design and it is a cut file on the Silhouette store or in the Silhouette store. So what does our card look like for today? This is the card that we will be making. So come on and join me and I'm going to show you how to make this quick, fast and easy card. Okay everybody, so we're going to bring up the supplies and get started with making the last birthday card for the year. So now this is another Jamie Lane card and it is at least this one is set up to be a birthday card. So I'm going to bring up the supplies and we'll get started. And this one is actually similar to the previous one that we made where you are using this as like, um, I believe she's calling them a tie card. So I've already gone ahead and did my print and cut for my sentiment and I've added that inside my card. So it all depends on, you know, what you want your saying to say or your sentiment to say as to how um, big you'll cut this. But for, because what you want is you don't want the paper to be seen when you close up the card. You just kind of want it to be angled inside there. So I'll give you the measurement for this piece that I've cut. So my piece for my inside sentiment measures... 3.018 for the width and 5.136 for the height. So if you get it around up in there and then you can decide what sentiment you want to put in the inside. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add our back piece along here. So I'm just going to move this for right now and we'll put on our back piece. And once again, I'm going to use the Xyron Mega Runner to put my piece down. But I need to get some paper here so we don't mess up the... Sorry about that. I had to step off camera so I could get a piece of paper. So we don't mess up... Um, our sheet here and everything starts sticking so I want to make sure we're getting this on the right tape on the right side and this is the side and also I did go ahead and ink my edges and I used the Tim Holtz Distress Ink this time I used the Vintage Photo so we know that the tape is going to go on this side I'm going to move this out the way and then we're just going to run this across again I mean, I do like this for when I have to do tape pieces like this, where you've got holes in between here. And you don't want to get the tape on all of it. So I'm just going to lay this down, and I want to match up my holes. And line that up, and then I'm going to just press that down. sure I got that on the right side okay so then we can take our eraser tool and sorry about shaking the camera there and our adhesive remover tool rather I said eraser tool because it does look like an eraser okay so we're now ready to add our next piece so we're once again gonna get some tape on and I'm just going to run this across and then I'm going to add this so we can bring our supplies back and our card and I'll move the tape gun out of the way and we'll put on our next piece and we're just going to once again make sure you line up your holes and then we can add that 
So now our next thing that we'll need to do is we'll need to put some tape along here so that we can close this one up. Now this one didn't line up as good as the first one did, or this side did, but that's okay because we're actually going to be running the ribbon or twine through there. So now, the last thing you'll have to do is you'll need to add your H2O, or H2O, the H2, H2U, and then we'll be putting our letter B across here to basically represent happy birthday to you. So I'm going to go ahead and start adding these pieces and of course I'm going to put some embellishments along here and then I'll come back with the finished card and the envelope. Okay everybody so I'm back with the finished card and this is what it looks like. So I went ahead and added the last piece on here and I popped this up with some foam dots and then the file also includes these little pieces right here that I've gone ahead and also I've popped those up as well. There's one up here and then there's one down here at the bottom. And then of course I went ahead and added the candies since I couldn't add any bling on the card. So for my envelope I once again use my We Are Memory Keeper envelope punch board to make my envelope and I took the spaces that were used for making the front of here and I put those on the envelope and I just cut out an extra B so that I could make it look just like the front of the card right here and this cardstock is for my mind's eye and it looks like this and that's what I use to make the envelope so that's it everybody. This is the last birthday card for 2014. So when I come back I will be doing a short Christmas card series. I am not making as many cards this year using a silhouette. I am doing something a little different with my embroidery machine so there won't be any cards using the silhouette as many as I've done in the past. I think I'm only going to be doing maybe two or three. But stay tuned and you'll get to see some of the other things that I will be making for Christmas. Thanks for watching everybody. Bye.